Ça, c'est bien. Okay, guys, so I'm here on location for this uh, kind of just overview of a fun little knife project that I've been working on. Ashley's here too. And I'm going to roll in some I'm footage. just collecting Tinder. Yeah, for a fire, but we're going to roll in some loose footage too. Because I know you guys love seeing these knives being used. But today, we're going to be talking about my island survival knife. And I feel like this is kind of an appropriate video to do because Ashley and I, we're going to be doing a lot of island survival for the foreseeable future to give you guys some fun and different content from what we normally do. So like I said, I'm on a real island on the Tanana River. That's the background. And let's jump into my island survival knife and overall kind of just what all it encompasses. And I want to do this video partially so that when you guys see me in my, or, or see Ashley and I in our normal just island survival videos, you aren't asking questions like, oh, what is this? What is that? Because this is a completely different and new knife for you guys. You've never seen this one before. So I want to throw this out here and just so you guys know what I'm using. And yeah, so let's jump into it. I'm bringing you guys a little bit closer. And hey yeah. guys, so I brought you closer and Ashley's still working hard on her little project. Hey, it's completely new to the channel. And this is actually a really awesome Chris Reeves Knives Pacific. And like I said, I thought that was pretty appropriate because this knife is one of the most rust resistant general survival knives that I actually have because it uses a blade of S35VN. So this one should be very rust resistant, which is very important because as you can see, we're being so close to the water, naturally this thing is going to not stay that dry. So I really love the knife, but it is just a Chris Reeves Knives uh, Pacific. So then we have just the standard sheath, and I'll roll in some pictures of what the sheath looked like before it got all modded out. It's just a multi-cam. It's a really awesome sheath. I do love it a lot. But then next to that, we have the Super Tool 300. Because this is a island, I do want to note the reason why I'm just really rocking just a survival knife setup is because the needs for a island are a lot different from the needs of in the woodland. So I don't actually need a saw out here. And as you guys have seen, like I said, I'm rolling in pictures, we have a lot of wood very accessible to us. So we don't really need a lot of like saws or things to prop process firewood. So I'm rocking a Super Tool 300. The primary reason I'm rocking a Super Tool 300, sorry you guys can't see this, but the primary reason I'm rocking a Super Tool 300 is because there's a lot of drift junk out here. And so there's things like metal that washes up on the co coastline. There's a whole bunch of things that I can tweak and use a multi-tool to make more useful to myself. Now next to that, I also have some bait line in here as you guys can hopefully see there. I have some bait line and that is for fishing, obviously. So that's what I have in there. I also have a couple Tinder Quicks down here and I don't really need the Tinder Quicks that much because a lot of the stuff out here is very dry and we have dry grass, we have dry birch bark just laying out here on the shoreline. So I don't need a whole lot, but it's just in case I do, I have a few little Tinder Quicks. So then next to that, I have my Gobspark Armageddon sitting in here. Now this is secure to the sheath. You guys can see normally this would just fall out of here, but it is secured to the sheath so that it's not just gonna rattle out of the sheath system itself. Then down here, I have just some standard cord. This stuff actually came with the sheath. I just haven't taken it off because it's a handful of feet of cord. I'm like, hey, might be useful. And lastly, my last addition is my thigh strap because this knife is pretty big. It's a 11 and a half inch blade or sorry, overall length. Uh, so it's a pretty big knife. So I wanted to throw a thigh strap on here so that I can attach it to my thigh so that the knife itself isn't jiggling around too much. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that quick video. Like I said, I just want to do a down and dirty kind of showing of the, my, I want to do like a down and dirty kind of showing of the survival island knife. Ashley in the background just playing in the water. I'm it not is, actually playing, I'm just... I know, she's scavenging. But anyways, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say on my entire kit for the Survival Island. I really like this setup, and the only thing is it doesn't have more fishing items aside from bait line, but I could not get a small fishing kit to fit on this sheath, even if I took the multi-tool out. So I just chose a multi-tool because I can do more with that. So anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.